So guys, welcome to my top five most annoying things about the cinema. Starting at the top of this list, I have checking in. So, the annoying thing about checking in, you forget your tickets. I Most of us have been there, you walk in, you check your bag, and then suddenly, they're not there. And inside, you are miserable. You know that there's nowhere else to get in. And you just give up on getting in. Instead, you have to go watch a boring other movie that you never wanted to watch. So, number two on this list is going to be... Finding a seat if you haven't booked tickets. So, if you go in, you're always stuck with the tickets that basically no one ever goes for. So, that's why you book tickets. It makes it far more easier. And anyway, you just get to choose where you sit. Unless someone's already booked that seat. So, yeah. Book your tickets first. Number three, we have a tall guy sits in front of you. So it is really annoying because you can't see the film and you booked where you sit, so therefore you can't move. So he's stuck in front of you and you're stuck behind him. It's like, why are you in front of me? You can see my height difference. So, now moving on to... Number four is going to see the ending credits. So, sometimes you have this friend that's always like, we got to stay until we see the ending credits to see if there's a teaser to the second movie. Well, guess what? There may not be a second movie. So, yeah. Get your things right before you say, say to the ending credits. I mean, it just gets people triggered. It gets me triggered. As you can tell, my channel's very really cringe. So, we are going to move on to number five. Hmm. Four, no, on number five, we have the most annoying thing to me, probably, not actually getting into the cinema. I mean, you could be like driving along and then suddenly your car breaks down. And then when someone gets that fixed, then you go to cinema and then you realise it's closed. The horrifying results. I mean, if you have like a little five-year-old and they're going to go see a kid's movie, you're in trouble, mate. Run. So, yeah, don't bring, don't bring five-year-olds to the movies. The results. <sighs> okay, so, may do number six. Actually, yeah, number six, here we come. This one's about the seating arrangement arrangements. So, first of all, you could have you in the middle of eight people. Or not really in the middle. More like person, 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 person. So yeah, you're surrounded by people. Behind you, there's a little toddler. Kicking your seat. And then in f then right next to you, there's this really, 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 really chubby guy. And his and his chubber goes all the way to your seat, taking up your armrest. And then next to you there could be this guy with allergies, just sneezing all over the place. And then next 
than on the diagonal to you, there could be someone texting with their loud texting noise. So yeah, stay away from people's phones, stay away from children, stay away from chubby guys in the cinema. So, if any of you guys have any top tens you would like to, me to do on my channel, leave a like, subscribe, more content, and yeah. Did you hit that subscribe button yet? You better hit that subscribe button yet. Don't tell me you haven't clicked that subscribe button yet, or else there will be trouble. He wants to travel. Subscribe, or else I'll get you.